welcome back in this presentation we will look at the row statistics but before we do that let us understand what information do we have so here we have information related to 24 students these 24 students have gone through three tests test 1 test 2 and test 3 so three tests were taken by these 24 students so if i go down i can see that there are 24 students and each of that has gone through test 1 test 2 and test 3 now what i'm looking here is to find out the average of these students so for example the first student is james adams james adams scored 72 marks in the first test 93 marks in the second test and 93 marks in the third test so what is the average score of james adam so for that i need to find out the mean of that there are number of ways you can do that exercise let's look at two of those methods so what i want to do is i want to find the average so i will give this column name as average and here on c7 i will give another name average r both of these will be averages but we will be finding these averages using two different approaches so let's look at the first approach so to find out average what i will do is i will go to calcs which is the calculator and from there i will select the row statistics because we are trying to find out statistics related to a specific row row number one row number two row number three so this is what i get here i need to find out the mean so i click on the mean i don't want to find the sum i want to find the mean and then in input variables i want to find out the mean of column c3 which is test 1 c4 and c5 which is test 3 and i want to put these score the mean of that let me remove this mean of that in column c6 which is average so that's where i want to store the result of average for each student and then i press ok so with that i see that average for each student has been calculated so average score for james adams is 86.000 percent or marks and the next melissa has got 89.333 so that's one way of calculating the average using the row statistics coming to the second approach second approach we could use calc and we could use calculator let me remove this because minitab remembers what i did last time so let me remove this as well now store results in variable where do we want to store the result we want to store the result of this in c7 which is average r and what we want to do here is let me put under bracket test 1 plus test 2 plus test 3 and then outside i will put divided by 3 so that will give me average for each student and that will be put in column c7 which is average r so let me do that press ok and here i get the average r here you can see that c6 and c7 are similar so we could use any of these approach to calculate the row statistics going a step further probably i don't need the result of these up to four decimals i just need the result of that up to one decimal so for example here instead of 89.333 i'm okay with 89.3 so i need to do some rounding here so for that what i will do is again i will go to calc and i will go to calculator whatever i did earlier stays here doesn't change so second time also this will show what i had done earlier now i need to do rounding of these numbers so for that what i will do is i will select the whole expression here then i have got a lot of functions here number of functions i have here which i can use 
So one of those functions would be rounding. So let's find that out. M M and here I have round. So I click on that and I say OK. And now here you can see that rounding means round and in the bracket this has to be number and the decimal numbers. How many decimals you need the result to. So let me select that. Once I select that, now the expression has changed from test 1 plus test 2 plus test, test 3. Now outside I have a round as a expression. Here I need to put the number of decimals. So I will remove that decimals and I will put number of decimals I want. So I want the result to be rounded to single decimal. So I put this as a 1 and now I press this OK. Now if you see C7 is showing me the average of these students with up to one decimal number. So that's how I do the rounding of that. So with this we complete our session on finding out the row statistics. In the next lecture let's look at how to find statistics related to a particular column. So there we will be looking at the average of test 1 for all students. So if we want to find out that there we need to do column statistics. So that will be covered in the next lecture. Mm -hmm.